Good evening from Manhattan. You know that competition prize we were offering of a trip to New York with tickets to see the Jets and the Giants? Well, it was a fix. I won it. And tonight's show is going to look a bit different because for the first time since 1986, this city has a chance to send both its teams to the playoffs. Not only that, but it's a rare weekend when they're both at home in the Meadowlands on consecutive days. So we're going to make the most of it by bringing you a New York double bill. Later in the show, we'll have the Jets against the Buccaneers, but we're going to start with the Giants against the Redskins in a game which could decide the NFC East title. First year as head coach, Jim Fossil has molded a young team into Southern contenders, mainly through playing aggressive, opportunistic defense. On offense, Danny Cannell looks like the Giants' quarterback of the future, and rookie Charles Way could be their fullback for the next millennium. But while half of New York's never heard of the current Giants team, everyone knows Jeff Hostetler, who led them to their last division title in 1990, then on to their last Super Bowl win. Now he's in position to deny this year's team a chance to do the same, stepping in for the injured Gus Rott, just like he did for Phil Simms on the 1990 Giants. It's still a learning process for me, and I think week, uh, week after week, you'll feel more and more comfortable. But uh, right now, I'm on a crash course, and uh, I need to have some real good results. Hoss is very, very competitive, and he's very smart. And uh, it makes me a little nervous that you know, he can come off the bench and, and get a team going, and that's been his task. felt the full warmth of a New York Christmas welcome when he came out here at Giants Stadium. And the onus will be on him today because the Redskins are still without their leading rusher, Terry Allen. Now, I said earlier on that the Giants need to win, but that's not strictly true because they can still clinch the division if today's game ends in a draw. And normally that's such a remote prospect that it's not worth mentioning. But when these teams met three weeks ago, it was seven apiece at the end of overtime, so I just thought I'd better mention it. The teams are on the field, as you can see. The NFC East title's on the line. Here's the game. Well, the Redskins got the ball first, but they didn't hold on to it for long. Terry Allen's replacement, Stephen Davis, fumbled on their third play from scrimmage. Jesse Armstead recovered for the Giants, and they kicked a the field goal to open the scoring. We pick it up after the kickoff now with the Redskins' second possession of the game. Dick Stockton and Matt Millen are commentating. First and ten at the 26. Hostetler sweeps it out to Davis, and he is wrapped up and knocked out of bounds by Jesse Armstead after a short gain of two. Now he talked about Norv Turner and ha how he's had to change philosophically his offense with Jeff Hostetler. And I think here's a big point. See, I think Hostetler, is this is only his second game he's playing, and I think he doesn't know his starting wide receivers as much as he knows the secondary guys. As he's worked... He has worked with Albert Connell and James Thrash on this practice squad, but Westbrook and Ellard, he hasn't worked with. And we'll see more of Connell and Thrash as this game goes on. Second down and eight. And the running back, Davis, with a quick start, short of the first down by about two yards with Sam Garns, the rookie, strong safety, making the tackle. On third and two. Hostetler getting some pressure, and he can take off, and Hostetler close to the first down marker. Nice job by Galleon, who stopped him right there, and I think he's going to be short. And we are going to have a measurement. Uh, talking about Hostetler. Oh, boy, they're just short by an inch. And it is an inch, literally an inch. Yeah. And it's fourth down. What does Norv Turner do here? Now he's got a punt. punt. Yeah, you got a punt. And that's a smart thing to do. You're down three nothing, and you don't want to take a chance yeah, in this. It's early in the game. Early in the game. Matt Turk, who will be headed to Honolulu for his second straight Pro Bowl appearance, an outstanding kicker. And back deep for the Giants, Amani Toomer. See, the Giants kept their defense in because they just don't quite trust that punt call. Turk knocked away. It's a loose ball, and the Giants pick it up. And Jesse Campbell, the former Giant, covers up, and the Giants are going to get another big opportunity. But Robert Harris, and you mentioned the two inside defensive linemen with big pressure on Matt Turk after he couldn't handle the snap. 
Hey, part of this is the fact that they did keep their defense on the field. Then they put somebody right over the nose of this Turk who snapped it back to that Turk and dropped the ball. And then it's just Strahan gets it and he kicks it. Dan Turk, Matt Turk's brother doing the snapping and the Giants now with first down on the 16-yard line and Tiki Barber picks up about a yard and a half. What a turn of events in the early going as Stephen Davis fumbled. Matt Turk could not handle the snap and the Giants in position to add to their lead, but they had to settle for three the last time. And long. Watch Matt Turk. Here comes the boy, watches it in, just went right through his hands. That's not on his brother, that's on him. Watch number 78 right there. You see it right here? He got rolled up from behind on the tackle of Tiki Barber. And Bishop being helped off, and that doesn't look good. Rob Zadis, good number 73, is replacing Bishop on the offensive line. There's Zadiska. Giants with a second down and nine on the Redskins, 15. And L with a running play, Charles Way, and he's going to score right up the middle for Charles Way, a 15-yard touchdown. The nice adjustment by Jim Fossil. You spread him out wide, and you just punch him right in the stomach. You eliminate defenders on this side of the ball. And then a nice job by Ron Stone and Scott right there at the center. And then a pathetic job of tackling by both safeties. I mean, that, that they're going to get sick to their stomach watching because I'm getting sick watching that bad tackle. That is the fourth touchdown rushing for Charles Way, who had a big year at fullback. And Brad D'Aloiso with the extra point, And the kick is good. Great start for Jim Fossil and the Giants force the Redskins to punt again on their next possession. So they now have the ball at their own 47. And the pitch is to Way, and on the reverse, here is David Patton, a rookie, and Patton run out of bounds, and after all of that, a pickup of about two yards. Jesse Campbell alertly following Patton out of bounds uh, in Redskin territory. But you see what Fossil's doing right now. See, he had success the last time on the edges. And Ken Harvey, who had a couple of sacks, really did not play well in the running game. Didn't control anything inside. Owens on the other side had himself a tough time. Fossil knew that. Watched, studied, and went right back to it again. And he's continuing to try to take the corner. We got a solo, 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 solo. Quick snap on second and eight, and Charles Way again. And Way it was about uh, two and a half yards shy of the first down as Mark Boutte making the tackle on Way, who has scored the Giant touchdown today. They lead 10 to nothing with 540 in the first. Watch what the Giants are trying to do. They're going to start inside, and then they want to get to this edge. See, they like the fact that they're tight ends. Here's Aaron Pierce again. They're blowing them right off the ball. That should never, ever happen. That's Kennard Lang, a defensive end, working on a tight end. You should never lose that battle as a defensive player. Third down and three. Tiki Barber is split to the right, and the pass up the middle is caught by Howard Cross. And the Giants' tight ends have not produced much this year, but they did on that play to the tune of 22 yards and a first down inside the Redskins 25. Hey, again, this goes back to what's working. This is excellent game planning right now. Pound, pound, pound. Have them come in, hit the tight end over the top. C-53 chasing, that means he bit up inside in the play action, and then here comes Howard Cross with a big play. That's that, an excellent play call. It is, uh, Matt, in a little-used area, the tight end for the Giants this season. They have a first down, and here is Tiki Barber, and he gets nowhere as Kennard Lang, the Redskins' first-round pick from Miami, makes the stop, no gain on the play. Nard Lang's going to be okay, but uh, he's got a ways to go. You forget that he's just a rookie because he's played all season long. And this is all, this is a tough place to learn how to play football in this league, especially in a game this big. And once you get to this week of the season for a rookie, you're no rookie yeah, anymore. That's right. Ninth play of the drive for the Giants, second down and ten. Play action, Cannell getting pressure up the middle, lofts it up. And nowhere 
no one near it except for Stanley Richard, and it was Mark Boutte. I think that one just kind of kind of slipped out yeah. of his hand. A little quail by Cannell, and that'll bring up third down and ten. You know it's a duck or a quail when the quarterback yells pull as soon as he <laughs> lets it go. Pull. Boutte comes clean inside and he sees it. Pull. <laughs> I saw like three guys out here with their duck outfits aim. I don't know how much duck hunting that Cannell has done. You're close to Pennsylvania, so you know you're going to have a lot of hunters here. South Florida boy, third down and 10. Giants near the bottom in third down conversions, but Callaway on the reception, close to the first down. Inside the 15 as Campbell and Richard, the two Redskin safeties, and uh, let's See if they'll need a measurement. No, it is a giant first down. Dick, it's one thing to call a nice game. It's one thing to have a philosophy. But you see that guy, 13? He's got to get it done. And don't forget, he's basically a rookie, too. And he is seeing the whole field right now. Knows where he has to go with the ball. That means he's put a lot of extra work. And remember, Fossil right was telling us just yesterday that he took the tape machine that you work with. He took it from his office and put it in Danny Cannell's house. And he said to Cannell, I can only show you so much. You have to do the rest on your own. And look at that thing and just keep it with him his whole career. Giants leading 10 to nothing and threatening the score again. A first and 10 on the Redskins 13. There is Tiki Barber looking for running room, cuts inside and gets about two and a half and a penalty marker down. It's our first flag of the game. Well, I think that one's going to go on Aaron Pierce right there at 26. He sees it. He's going to jump back to the outside. Now watch. Pierce is going to come and there's the play. Yeah, I kind of don't like it, but the rule is if you if you don't see the front number, don't block it. Rodney Hampton, who has not played at all this year, the all time leading rusher for the Giants and a popular player here. Out with a knee injury in preseason, getting his first action right here. First down and 20 after the penalty. A flag is down, and Hampton carries for a couple of yards. Jesse Campbell on the stop, and so after no flags, we get uh, penalties on two straight plays. This time he has fresh legs, having not taken a snap all year. Not a good practice player, everyone knows that, but in a game, something else. And over 6,800 yards. down and 15. Cannell played fake, gets a rush, and the pass is caught by Aaron Pierce. So two catches by giant tight ends. They're inside the 10-yard line. Hey, this again is on Danny Cannell for two reasons. He knows where he has to go right away. Watch the play action. They're going to go inside. Here comes the play action, and now he looks right away. See, he's looking for this because he has the matchup of the tight end on the linebacker Harvey. Ken Harvey is not a very good pass defender. I mean, let's be honest. But what he does pretty well right there is stay on Pierce, but the ball's perfectly thrown. Gain of nine, second down and six. And here is Rodney Hampton powering his way for a couple. He'll be short of the first down by about three yards or so as Derek yeah. Smith, the rookie linebacker, makes the play. The thing with Rodney Hampton is when they had Tyrone Wheatley and Hampton Every team that came in said, well, Hampton's going to run inside. Wheatley's going to run outside. And the problem is they couldn't stop him. Yeah, because Hampton, between the tackles, is outstanding. And what he's always done very well is he runs downhill. He's a downhill runner. I and mean, when you got to hit him, you better bring a full load. Hampton leaves the game. Wheatley out of action with a sprained ankle. Tiki Barber in. Third and three. And Charles Way goes in motion. Pass up the middle. And touchdown to Chris Calloway. And he thread the needle, did Cannell on that toss. Cannell is playing extremely well right now. The ball is coming out quick. They have a good pace, and he's decisive. Callaway jumps right to the inside. Daryl Green was waiting for his safety help to show up, but Cannell beat the help. There's the throw, there's the help, there's the six. Danny Cannell, who has never lost back-to-back -back games, in high school, college, or the NFL. That's why the win last week so impressive against the Eagles. Brand Aloiso with the extra point attempt. And the kick is good. 17-0, and that's how the first quarter ended. We'll be back to start the second quarter. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. 
And diving forward is Stephen Davis and a good gain of six yards on first down. He could figure prominently for the Redskins today. Handoff is to Davis, and he's wrapped up by Michael Strahan after a gain of one. Terry Allen, who has been a perennial 1,000-yard rusher for the Redskins, out of action with a sprained ankle. And Washington. Third down and three. Hostetler's pass off the hands of Sanders, and a flag is down. And let's see whether Conrad Hamilton will be called for a penalty. Hostetler's seeing the same things that Danny Cannell's seeing. That is going to go on Hamilton. Chris Thomas was the intended receiver. Pass interference. Quick. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Hostetler looking for a receiver. And he finds Stephen Davis out of the backfield. And Davis out of bounds. It's a first down at the 30. Pass to Davis, first and 10. Davis again with the carry as uh, Hamilton missed him. And a pickup of about four. The Redskins looking good on this drive and gaining good yardage on first down. Well, and I Hostetler getting pressure up the middle, and this pass is caught by Connell. Albert Connell still on his feet, and finally, Felipe Sparks brings him down. But the Redskins are threatening, and this is an important drive. Down 17 to nothing. No touchdown last week against the Cardinals. First and 10 on the 12-yard line, and on a reverse, here is Connell trying to juke his way past Garnes. He is tackled at about the 9-yard line, and that will bring up second down. That's two reverses, seven on the nine. Here's Hostetler, and gets away from one, can't get away from Robert Harris. First it was Hamilton, then Harris, the strength of the Giants, those inside rushers. Hostetler and the pass, Jamie Asher and out of bounds. He was covered well by Conrad Hamilton, who got Blanton on to attempt a 33-yard field goal, and this kick is good. The Redskins finally on the board then, and after an exchange of punts, we pick the action back up inside the last two minutes with Washington's third possession of the quarter. First and ten at the 20-yard line. The Redskins have all three of their timeouts remaining. And out of the backfield is Brian Mitchell with his first catch of the day. Second down and four on a semi-hurry up by Hostetler. He flips it, and it's intercepted off of Mitchell, Conrad Hamilton. Returning for the Giants inside the Redskin 15 and a critical turnover by Washington. Washington's trying to beat themselves. I think he surprised Mitchell. I didn't think Mitchell thought that ball was going to come and the ball got there right on top of him, hit him right in the hands, but I think he surprised him. But he never gets both hands up, just got one up. And an easy pick by Hamilton, and that is the 23rd Interception by the Giants. First and ten after the turnover on the Redskins 12-yard line. Here's Tiki Barber. And Barber is tackled from behind by Rich Owens after a short game as we're getting down to the one-minute mark in this first half. Basically handed this first half to the New York Giants. Giants with one timeout remaining face a second down and eight. Callaway is in motion. Cannell will put it up. And the pass to Cross, he can't hold on. And he was defended by the middle linebacker, Marcus Patton. And that will bring up third and long. Cross with... Cannell going for Callaway. And what's going to happen? Incomplete. Uh, Chris Dishman had it right from the start. Now, they're going to they're gonna argue that Dishman tipped him out of bounds. I thought Dishman played it well. He boxed he, him out. He, he played it extremely well. He knew that he had, watch this, get the jam, now use the sideline as your friend. See that? Just a little push and mm. riding him outside, and actually I think he got away with one. Yes, he did. That right arm. But he did, uh, that's, hey, that's how you play. You use the sideline as your buddy. Well, Chris Dishman with a great reputation in the league, so now Brad D'Aloiso with a 28-yard field goal attempt 
Aloiso with an impressive string of kicks inside the 30, and this kick is good. And that put the Giants' lead back up to 17. After the kickoff, the Redskins had enough time for one crack at the end zone. They're going for the Hail Mary at the final play, and it is intercepted by Jason Seahorn as time runs out in the first half. But the Redskins with an opportunity to cut the gap, and the pass intended for Westbrook is well short. Bringing up Seahorn has followed him. Right now they have a matchup with Thomas Randall. Sparks is not going to return, we understand, and this pass is tipped. And intercepted flag is down. Scott Gallion on the deflection. Now they rule that it is an incompleted pass as Wooten and Gallion converged on Michael Westbrook, but flags are down. And now that's going to probably go against the New York Giants. What a great break on the football. That was a zone. They sat down in the zone. Westbrook broke back to the inside, and Tito Wooten broke on it really well. Now, you have to allow the defender the same right to the football as the receiver. And he ran through it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good call. First down for Hostetler at the Giant 41. Going deep and wide open. Touchdown, Albert Connell. And a big touchdown toss by Jeff Hostetler. 41 yards to bring the Redskins back here early in the third quarter. And Albert Connell, the rookie from Texas A&M, with his second touchdown catch in as many weeks. Remember that Jeff Hostetler says, I know the young receivers better than I know my established guys. Remember also that people think that he can't throw the deep ball. That is wrong. Scott Blanton with the point after, and it's good. The Redskins finally generating some momentum, and they seem to have kept it going by forcing the Giants to punt on their next possession from deep in their own territory. Instead, a roughing the kicker penalty gave New York a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Danny Cannell's pass, and that is intercepted. Now they rule it. Oh, they incomplete. don't know what it is. Nope, now they're going to give it a... Nope, that's an interception. An, Stanley Richard picks it off. First, an official said incomplete. It looked as if Richard picked it, and it is an interception by the Redskins. Everybody kind of stopped. Let's see. I, I thought this thing hit the ground. He gets his hands under. It oh, hit the ground. That's, it hit the ground. Yeah. That wasn't a catch. No, it wasn't. But that's like the Tampa Bay game here a few weeks ago where they gave an interception when the ball hit the ground. Same scenario. Two Sparks. And Felipe Sparks picked that thing up. So that uh, should not have been an interception, but uh, it is called one, and that is the third of the year by Stanley Richard. And the Redskins get it in Giant territory at the 46. First turnover of the game by the Giants. Ten-point New York lead, but the Redskins on the march. And Jesse Corey Widmer with the interception on the first play. So interceptions on back-to-back -back plays. And that's the last thing North Turner wanted from an experienced quarterback like Jeff Hostetler. Jamie Asher, the tight end, was the intended receiver. That kind of evens it out, though. Yes, it does. Because it was it was a non-play, and now here's an excellent play by Widmer. Widmer just ran with Asher, and then did you see how he did that? When Asher looked, Widmer turned and looked. <laughs> that's an excellent play. Second interception on the year by Widmer, and that is the third interception thrown by 36 year old Jeff Hostetler five turnovers four by the Redskins Giants first and ten on their 24 and Charles way looking for running room flag is down and way picks up about four and a half yards Derek Smith making the tackle bounced off and the other one he just threw up for grabs at the end that was the first real interception First down and 20, Wade blocking for Tiki Barber. Second down and 16, Cannell getting pressure, and it's Chris Mims, who was uh, picked up from the San Diego Chargers. A loss of four yards on the play, and that is the second sack of the game by Washington. And they did a nice job of coverage, and it's, and it's up here at Stanley Richard. They're going to try to, he's going to look up top. You can see the coverage, one, two, three. Now, here's what he thinks he has, but Richard stays over the top, 
and because of this, the sack occurs down below. From their defensive line this year, but they did there. Third down and 20. Canell underneath dropped by Tiki Barber, and that will bring up fourth down. And again, the Giants will have to kick from a Brad Maynard, who was rough the, the last time he attempted a kick. Brian Mitchell standing in midfield. Good kick by Maynard. Easily his best of the day. And Mitchell muffs it, and the Giants recover. And it's David Patton, the former Arena League receiver, and the rookie from Western Carolina, and another Washington Redskin mistake. Giants get it in the Redskin territory. Watch David Patton right down here in the bottom of your screen. That's just on Brian Mitchell. I mean, that's there's no two ways about it. Danny Cannell with play action. And Cannell has a receiver. And this is intercepted. Well short. Stanley Richard. Nice job. With his Richard. second interception of the game. And Cannell with a bad pass. Well underthrown. And it was intended for Aaron Pierce. A bizarre spell of tit for tat turnovers. But Washington couldn't make that last one by Danny Cannell count. And had to punt the ball back to the Giants. First down Giants. And Tiki Barber gets into Redskin territory, but not by much. A gain of about a yard. Jamal Duff, the former Giant, making the tackle. There's a couple of guys on Howie's tough guy team who were playing in this game today, and I, I think one of them is that Charles Way. I think he's a tough guy. I think the more you watch him, the more you appreciate the kind of football that he plays. He's also out of the University of Virginia. As is Tiki Barber, second down and eight, and Wade gets a little bit of an opening, which closes in a hurry. Ken Harvey making the play, and a gain of three. That was a nice play by Ken Harvey that time. That time, same kind of run. They're running that counter OT at him. Remember the last time they were able to get to the edge. This time, he jumped to the inside. Defense, third and five. Trying to put pressure with a stunt in the pass. The puck is caught. And the caught. That pass is caught by Amani Toomer. And that pass looked like it uh, might have touched the defender the way it came out. It did come off kind of weird, and I think it was a deflection, which is why they didn't throw the flag on it, because you're going to watch right here. Hand goes up, he hits him. The reason they don't call it is because the ball was deflected coming off. And that's an excellent job. Yes. You see, it was whacked right there by Toomer of going to the ball. First down for the Giants on the Redskins 32 yard line. Charles Way. You mentioned Way's ability to catch and run in the opening game of the year against the Eagles. He sparked the Giants offense to their upset win in the first game. One area that this Redskin defense has had problems has been in just holding up to the run. But where they've been great is in, in terms of points. They've not given up a lot of points in the season. They've allowed the third fewest in the NFC. Second down and six. The pitch to Tiki Barber, and he's got Jesse Campbell to contend with. Dives forward and short of the first down by two yards. But this second half has been marked by turnovers. We have had seven turnovers in all. And this is just here in the second half. There was the first one. There's the second one. And then it didn't end there. And you had the interception. And it's a running play to Rodney Hampton. He's got a first down to the 20. And he wasn't going to get it without Charles Way leading the way up front. And where he ran is right behind Greg Bishop, that left guard. Remember, Bishop messed his ankle up early right here. Now watch Charles Way. They start it one way. Excellent job by Way on the backer, Derek Smith. And then Hampton just does the rest. So with Tyrone Wheatley out of action with a sprained ankle, it is Rodney Hampton in his first action of the year. And Hampton again carries to the 15, and this is the kind of running they had hoped 
from the veteran, the all-time leading rusher in a giant uniform. He gets five yards on that play. And they're doing it. They're, and they're just wearing him out inside. And again, that left side, Greg Bishop's over there, Roman Oban's there, Lance Scott the center, but the key to the whole thing is Charles Way. And the ball controlled by the Giants becoming more underscored as we go along. Hampton driving to about the 12-yard line. Short of the first down by two. Emplin and Smith making the stop. going outside Rodney Hampton maybe shy of the first down as Derek Smith who has played well the rookie from Arizona State one of two rookie linebackers who have played considerably it'll be fourth down and the less than a yard it appears some this still makes it a two score game at 23 you could get two touchdowns and two extra point two uh two point conversions you'd still Turn it into a 26-23 game. 28-yard field goal attempt. Daluiso looking for his 38th straight inside the 40. Daluiso with his third field goal of the game. Jeff Hostetler to throw on first down in his pass and that was intended for Chris Thomas. Second down and 10. Strahan trying to put pressure on Hostetler and this pass is intercepted. Jason Seahorn down the sideline and he's going to score. Touchdown Giants. Ball was well thrown. Michael Westbrook slipped on his break. And then the only intended guy left was Jason Seahorn. Watch Westbrook come out of the break, falls down. Bing. Six quick the other way. 35-yard return for a touchdown. Jason Seahorn with his fifth interception of the year. First return for a score. And the Giants defense, which has set the tone all season long, Capitalizing on turnovers and getting scores and leading now 29 to 10. Early, though, in the fourth quarter, Brad Deloiso with the point the touchdown, and it's a 20-point giant lead. Game is over. The Giants in the showdown game against the Redskins have won the NFC East. So seven years after he helped the Giants win their last division title. Jeff Hostetler helps them win another one. Four interceptions by Hoss today, including that one run back by Jason Seahorn, of course, for the clinching touchdown. Over 77,500 people here on hand today. The largest crowd in Giants history. And they'll get to see another game because this win means that the Giants clinched not only the NFC East title, but a home game in the first round of the playoffs. Let's join the celebration. Charge your rookie season. Division champions, how does it feel? feels great you know we not we haven't been here you know it's a new feeling now we got to act like we've been here and go go to the Super Bowl Rodney how did it feel to be back out there after all the time you've waited it feel about the same but you know uh, everybody made a big thing uh, about me coming back so uh, you know I feel good I'm glad we won uh, NFC East I feel good about that you can hear what the crowd's chanting now oh yeah you know uh, they enjoy my service and I enjoy playing here like I say I think New York had the best fans in the world so you know uh, we happy, we got the uh, time to celebrate, but uh, we got a game this week against Dallas. There's some things you can control playing the game and some things you can't. And uh, I came out, um, you know, playing the game, throwing a ball, uh, doing everything I could. There's sometimes the ball bounces funny ways and, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. I knew this was going to be a hell of a football game, a physical football game, and a hard game to win. We need to come in and play our best, and we were far from that. A lot of people thought at some point in time we reached the tough part of our schedule and uh, they're waiting for us to fold and we did not and uh, it was great to see that crowd I, uh, you know whatever had pretty good size attendance 
our guys went out and fought. They kept their head about them, and I'm, and I'm proud of them. Like I told them right after the game, uh, nobody expected us to get here. Had the Giants way down, but we're back.